I was going to ask you, you, you mentioned that people were, it felt like TMZ did the bidding for Trump. And I feel like a lot of all the news networks are pretty much guilty of that. In no, they weren't. I think CNN did. In terms of just how much they covered him, there was like a free infomercial no, 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 for Trump all day. About. That's not what I'm talking about. Oh, okay, I didn't know. I'm not talking about, um, I'm not talking and, about, like, I'm not, I'm not talking about. What capacity did you mean when you said that? That the stories were favorable. Oh, the they were favorable, favorable for him. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so that's different. like, because Harvey and Trump were friends. They're oh, I didn't friends. know that. Oh. And they were. Um, I, well, I was going to ask you just like, because because you, you, you talk uh, politics a lot on your podcast for people who don't know. Go check it out. It's a dope podcast. Higher Learning Podcast. The Ringer Podcast Network. We're going to have Cactus Tea on our show pretty soon. Well, I was going to ask you like, um, where do you see, because I don't think Biden's going to end up being the, the guy. Because <laughs> I think he'll lose. I think they probably know that by now. Yeah. Um, so get, roll that out for me. Well, I was just going to ask you, like, no, 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 no. Stay on your opinion. So Biden's not going to Biden's not going to run. So who's going to run? I think it'd probably be Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom will run. Okay. When are they going to make this decision? I think they got to make it after Super, probably after Super Tuesday. So, we or uh, after the primaries is what I meant to say. After, after the Democratic primaries. Yeah. So they're going to do the primaries. Joe Biden is then going to be. I think he's going to take like a. If I had to predict it, I think he's going to probably just for like health reasons, just step away, mm -hmm. which is probably like the, the, the way to do it. Right. Mm -hmm. So with every passing day, every passing second, that becomes less likely. You're right. Because I, I don't disagree with you. Mm -hmm. My thing is, is do you feel like what happened? Because I feel like the CNN, Fox News, News Cycles, MSNBC, during 2016, 2015, all you would see is Trump, 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 yeah. Trump, because it was good for ratings, right? And I feel like something similar. It was also a relevant news story. It was. It was. But I feel like something similar is kind of happening now, but in terms of like all of these cases that are, I mean, that, and he broke the law, right? Mm -hmm. Well, allegedly, obviously, he's going to go to have to go to court and, you know. It looks like it if you're being objective that there's some smoke there in some of these cases, yeah. Right. So- are all these cases to me are kind of doing the same thing the media did from the first go round because I feel like it's kind of it like making people feel like he's like a martyr more now than ever. Mm -hmm. who, who, if you had to predict who's going to be the next president right now, I will predict. I will predict Joe Biden. Um, here's the thing. So you think Biden's sticking sticking in it? If I had to predict, if you had to, to that's Biden. fair. Okay, your, your scenario is uh, is not out of the question, but I'm interested. Oh, the reason why I ask follow-ups is because I'm interested in the specificity of it, right? Right. Okay, Joe Biden's not going to run. Everybody say, okay, Joe Biden's not going to run. Who's going to run? Are they going to get Michelle to do it? That'd be nice. Is he going to... Uh, uh, so so in your situation, right? In your... Let's uh, say it's Newsom versus Trump. Let's say it's Newsom, right? That's a gigantic problem for the Democrats. Newsom is a... Is a I wouldn't say a great candidate. He's a corporate Democrat like the rest of them He's are. He's an extremely corporate yeah, Democrat. Yeah, but he's a corporate... But he is young... Charismatic. Who was just hanging out with Clinton today. Um, speaks yeah. incredibly well. He's a statesman. Went He's on presentable. Fox, yeah, went on Fox News, was able to mix it up with Sean Hannity and whoever else they have him on there. Yeah, held he, his own against Hannity, held his own against DeSantis. Well, actually, ate, 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 ate Hannity's lunch. Um, no, murdered Hannity yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, okay. So, if Gavin Newsom is your candidate, What's the problem with that? What's the huge problem with him being a candidate? I think that the national opinion of California mm -hmm. is that it's in shambles and that he's a terrible. I don't think that's that big of a deal. What do, What do you think is the main problem then? You jumped Kamala Harris. So the 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 fact that you jumped Kamala Harris, right? Yeah. After making such a big deal of her being the first woman about of her color, being the first the first woman black, vice, vice president, yeah, uh, VP. Yeah. You jumped Kamala Harris now. Every single black woman, not all of them, but a lot of black women, let me not speak in absolutes, that uh, support Democrats more loyally blindly. than any yes. other yeah. group. I wouldn't say li blindly. Now. No, 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 but, but very, very like, I mean, my, my, my grandma and my mom are like that. Like, what I'm saying is, though, school Democrats, it's black, like, it doesn't matter. I know, black women are incredibly well educated, and I think they're making decisions uh I don't think it's blind support. I think it's traditional support. I wouldn't call it blind. Okay. Um, those voters are now, to a degree, disenchanted. Now, that doesn't mean that they would vote for Donald Trump. I'm not saying that at all. But what I am saying is it would be incredibly politically risky 
if you were going to go with another candidate so to alienate your base. most loyal base. Loyal base. Yeah. So let's say it's Kamala Gavin. Kamala Gavin, like Kamala at the top of the ticket, Gavin as, as vice president. Yeah. Would he do that? I would, I would think so. I don't he, know. he wants to be president, dude. Absolutely. I think he will be one day. The question is not, the question is when. The question is, is it 28? Does, does Kamala still get her turn? Does she still get her turn at president? Is he, uh, does, does she come back in 28? Then does he have to wait or does he jump her? Obama jumped a couple of people. Yeah, it just it, 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 sometimes you 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 grab the world in in your hands and you have to do that. Jumped Hillary. <laughs> jumped Hillary, right? Yeah. Um, and so then, when you come back to kind of what it is we're talking about in terms of of Donald Trump right now, there's a couple of questions I would ask you. Uh, who's indicting Donald Trump? I mean, that's the question. If he gets indicted, I think that is. Well, he's been indicted. Well, if he gets convicted, rather. Right. So if he my gets question is. When I say who's indicting him, I'm talking about, I'm asking specific questions about the coverage, right? CNN, CNN isn't indicting Trump. Uh, uh, MSNBC isn't indicting Trump. Trump has been indicted in New York, in Georgia, and he's been indicted by the Justice Department, okay? So those entities indicting Donald Trump, whether you feel like it's politically motivated or not, they have a duty to prosecute crimes. Right. And if there are crimes... Uh, committed under their watch and they become aware of these crimes. They're not going to take it to indictment unless they think they can get a conviction, right? That's the only purpose of doing it. So right. they have to prosecute criminals. So what I wouldn't want is a justice department or a DA or any of these people that represent you know, the carceral, uh, the carceral uh, conditions of America and the carceral state that we live in, which is bad. Mm -hmm. Um, not a huge fan of just locking people up and throwing away the key. That's not the way I look at the world. But I want I wouldn't want any of them to not indict or prosecute specifically a wealthy white man because they think it's bad politically. I think if you are going, no one thinks about whether or not it's bad for the hood when you are going to indict a man for selling drugs and he has a family or he has a baby's mother or he has this. No one thinks about if it's bad for his family. No, for sure. Nobody thinks about if it's bad for anything else when they do that. I see criminal, I get criminal, I put criminal in jail. So, and, and more often than not, when we're looking at the other side of this, those guys are being targeted. They are being stopped and frisked. For sure. There are police in their neighborhoods waiting to create a criminal out of the circumstances and the systemic dysfunction and failure that has existed in America for a very long time. There are people waiting to do that. So they're almost born into this sort of uh, legal entrapment that for a lot of them is difficult to escape. So the question isn't whether or not it's it's making people sympathetic to Donald Trump, whether or not I, to indict I, I, him. The question is, did he fucking do it? So I think that's the question on the factual base. But I'm talking about perceptually, it doesn't matter. What like, difference does that make, though? Well, I mean, we're so you, see. so you, so you would want you would want the Justice Department to say no, 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 because no. then that would certainly but demonstrate what I'm saying collusion is, between the Justice no, Department no, no, no. What and I'm, the administration. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, you're saying they're doing their job, which they are doing. Mm -hmm. I think that. Joe Schmo's perception of what's happening is, oh, it's all happening at the same time. They, there's a reason why they don't want him in, so I'm going to vote for him. That's look. Here's the thing. I, I'll just be honest with you. Maybe, maybe there are people who who um who are more sympathetic to American criminals, right? Uh, I tell you what, it, people have, have Americans have had a long cultural relationship with criminality, right? Uh, mafiosos. Um, Scarface, you know, Scarface, dope dealers, all have been lion eyes, and yeah. there've been movies made about them. Also, I'll tell you what they've never done: they've never taken one of those guys that they knew to be a criminal um, and decided that he was going to lead the country. So, what what I'm going to say is this: if we are so deep down the rabbit hole of uh, Trump's being persecuted or something like that has happened to you, that you want him to, to lead the nation, that's fine. You can't it's argue a, it's, with it's that. A, listen, it's a wild. It's not wild at all. I'm it's, like, well, it's a wild. I just feel like we've been living in like a Family Guy episode or a South Park mm -hmm. episode the last like eight years. So like if he if he's like reelected, I would not be surprised. Is all I'm I wouldn't be surprised either. Look, here's the thing: when when you when you ask me why I think that he'll lose or why I think that Biden, who is 
objectively a bad candidate. For sure. Like objectively a bad candidate. Yes. Right? I'll give you a couple of examples why I think that. Um, one, history tells me Trump will lose. Trump won one election. Mm-hmm. And then he's been consistently losing elections since then. Lost in 2020. His, All uh, the midterms. Have, the midterms. Yeah. People have flipped on him. They've cooled. Yeah, the, the people who have like dived into the election stealing shit have been losing. Yeah. All, so that, there's been a referendum from America right. uh, on Trumpism, on the whole MAGA thing. The, the parts of America that are very definitively MAGA are not going to come away from it. They feel represented and seen through that. So that's not going to change. But the people who were at the margins of that, that actually flipped elections, they have been going a different way. So I would have to see them elect him again. For me to it. change trend, not for me to believe it, because they did do it in 2016, right. to change trend, number one. I also do think that as the criminal uh, trials begin and as things mount, he will probably become even less desirable by some of the other people on the side. The Republicans are working against Donald Trump right now. They're trying raising to get a lot Nikki, of money for other They're trying to get Nikki Haley, yeah. Ron DeSantis, whatever. Yeah. Not going to be able to do it. He's still going to win. But I'll say this. Um, so with all of that stuff, like I think that Joe Biden... Uh, probably still would beat Donald Trump if uh, if he ends up in a general election. But Joe Biden and the Democrats are doing themselves. I'm a I'm all the way to the left. They're doing themselves a tremendous disservice in the way they are running their campaign. I they, just saw Obama like sources close to Obama said that he's there. You go. Yeah. So. Um, you saw that story about... I did see yeah. it. There, there are a couple of measurables out there that actually look good for the president, that look good for his administration. Uh, economy's coming back. Not the way people will want it to come back, but it's coming back robustly. Not as, maybe as quickly as people want to come right. back. Economy's coming back. Gas prices coming down. Mm-hmm. Um, we keep talking about how bad things are on the streets. Data says... Now, talk to people. You always have to talk to people. But data says that violent crime is down in most of the places where it was up before. There's still places where it's terrible and if you're on the ground in some of these places and you talk to people they're going to get you're going to get all kinds of different stories about how their lives actually are i get that so there are things to message they're not messaging them well they've always kind of been the worst at uh promoting themselves they're they're they have a messaging problem well well one a branding problem well one problem that they have now is that they don't have an executive that's capable of speaking uh with authority and charisma to his wins or to his failures. His, his failures. Right. They don't have that. He's right not now. capable. He's not capable. And for whatever reason, they've sidelined Kamala Harris. She hasn't been where she needs to be. People think that these things are criticisms of the Dem- of the Democrats that I make. I'm not Democrat, but I said I'm all the way to the left, but I don't have any party affiliation. Uh, people think that these criticisms that I make of the Democratic Party are ones that I'm making because there's some sort of secret agenda from me mm-hmm. uh, or from anybody else. There are observations that I hope that people would listen to so that these things would change. 